today and yeah you don't need any thigh pads if you are wearing them we haven't done anything today against a circular punch which is a flaw because if you look at the rules of combat what does it say Jacob? Massa gay a lot of stuff that's true but one thing in particular is that you should train for the most common or likely attack first so you should train to be able to counter what you're most likely to meet which is a kind of good strategy for training rather than training for what you won't meet okay you remember this what we call the principal drill this punch coming in and we went boom boom right but we never really applied the first one the arm break on the inside remember that we will do now so let's say he's giving me that, that big swing yeah that one boom he's coming to take my head off right so he gave it again boom he stopped that the, the normal way we, we do which we call the frisbee kick it's like throwing a frisbee but what do we know about fists and when he punches me boom what will happen yeah that will come right away as soon as this one is here that one will be on its way so we need to have a strategy for that because everything looking like this not gonna work on the other side too I would do it wrong if it's not gonna work what will happen do you think yeah he will take my head off that way instead so he will punch me and I go BAM that changes it all it's a game changer so to speak so he punches me again boom we go here now we have this arm break for an application so we will do we will use the same method we will begin to do this as a flow drill, where we train the very entry. So he's punching me. Boom, bam. He punched me again. Boom, bam. He punched me again. Boom, bam. Punch me again. Boom, bam, bam. You can add a strike with a head. Boom, bam, bam. Add whatever you like. But do this. Stop, punch, break. Stop and punch at the same time, even better because it will be there. Boom. 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 You see? So we begin with this. And then we will, of course, return to this and finish the story. <laughs> Any questions? One thing. Yes? Film him. I was thinking about the, the uh, thing that uh, each uh, hit uh, sends uh, shock signals to your brain. So uh, then I was thinking that it should be better if the hits were uh, almost at the same time. No. You have a point there. Like, doo -doo. Yeah. Is that why do we not hit with two strikes, like in Yamasuke, for instance, at the same time? We want the body to register every strike as an independent. We want the independent pain signals. We want to overwhelm the psyche of the one taking the beating so they think, like, oh shit, I'm getting so much hit. But if it's together, and the stronger one will redundant the weaker one and then it will be like it was only one punch so, so in this question in this case we need to think that this is not really a strike it will have the effect of a strike on his arm but it's not my purpose as a strike this is the strike yeah. that's my answer I would say but if you can have some sort of timing difference bam bam sorry no problem of course that's okay but it's not What's important with this, this one is that he doesn't take your head off. That's the purpose. If it hurts his arm, that's a plus. Oh, you're laughing. But the point is, he's not supposed to take my head off. If he will take my head off, there will be nothing more to do today. Right? So he punch and I stop it. Bam! You can aim for that timing. I, I won't say it's wrong, but I say it's less important. The purpose of this is to stop him from taking my head off. And this is to take his attention. So he starts to think about something else, like, boom, where did my air go? <laughs> what happened to my breath? Losing taban, dan, fan. Okay, so, so, boom, and then, bam, injuring the elbow joint. Right? Good question, otherwise. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go.